In today's video, I'm going to be making art using washi tape. What is washi tape, you ask? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Basically, it's these little rolls of decorative tape. I thought they were mainly used for bullet journaling or scrapbooking or just decoration, but people use them for all sorts of things like tape and masking their drawings or just decorating letters or just literally anything you can use tape for and stick things on. Even art. So let's get into it. I'm going to make some art using washi tape. So you guys know that swatching is my favorite part of trying any new medium and even though this is tape and you aren't technically swatching anything, you don't get an absolute clear view of the pattern of your tape when it's on a roll because it's kind of... I guess it's a little see-through so you can kind of see the pattern as it's rolled around. Plus it's really handy to just look at a piece of paper with all of your little patterns on it instead of looking at all of the rolls. So having everything just flat down is really easy. So I had a lot of fun just like any swatch just laying down all of my tapes and it did exactly what I wanted it to. I was able to just look at this at a glance, kind of like a cheat sheet, know what my washi tape was, and I numbered them so I could easily grab them. Before we get into creating art, I do want to thank Luke for sending me this huge pack of washi tape. I only own a couple of rolls myself for packaging orders, but Luke sent me this in my P.O. box and I have been so excited to create something out of it. So thank you and let's get into it. Let's make some art. So starting off, I did want to do something just a little bit more on the simple side, not that my art isn't already simple, but I just wanted to get a feel for what I could do with washi tape and the best way to lay it down and cut it off and all that stuff. So I just created a really simple dog wearing a dress or something. Don't know what this is. There are just so many floral patterns with this washi tape that I knew I wanted to do some sort of cute little dress. Don't know why I did a dog in a dress, but I love this pattern. I love that teal color and the little flowers are so cute. And it was really easy to get the hang of it. You just put the tape down. Thankfully, it's a very low adhesive tape. Lightly cut away with your cutting tool and yeah, just peel it away. It was very easy and it was ready to get started. So after my little practice round, I was feeling quite warmed up and ready to go with something a little more fun, a little more adventurous with this washi tape. There are so many cute patterns. I knew that I wanted to do something repeating. I knew I wanted to play around with some hair eventually. This did start off as hair, but then it just kind of turned into this foggy stuff that was around this character, I don't know. All I know is that I knew I did want to do a white character. Well, most of these are going to be white characters because I know I could have mixed watercolor with washi tape or literally pens or anything. I could have used anything with the washi tape. But when I go into a video like this wanting to use the medium, I do like to use the medium alone just to get the hang of it, just to see what it can do alone. Maybe in the future I can combine this with some watercolors or something, but for now I just used washi tape because I wanted to see what it could do. So like I said, this is just a white character surrounded by this blobby pattern because I just love the way that white really pops off of things, especially dark or patterned things that surround it. And when it came to connecting the patterns, none of these really matched up uh, at all. <laughs> Which is fine, I really wasn't concerned about having a perfect repeating pattern. Plus this pattern in particular is so busy and most of these you can't even tell that they don't even match up, which is fine. So it started off with hair, ended up being this blobby stuff encompassing this person and it just looks so cool I think, especially once I added the shadows in there it really gave a sense of depth. And I loved it. What started off as just kind of playing around with it, seeing what I could do with the hair, ended up being my absolute favorite out of all of these. And I just think it's so cool. Also, I put the pattern in the eyeball, which looks so cool. <laughs> said with this being my favorite and I really wanted to create more of it like it, maybe make a series of just people being absorbed by different washi tape materials, I thought I would give it a go. Maybe just, you know, try to replicate it with another one. I had been focusing on the blue green tape. I wanted to do a red tape so I thought I would have someone in like a bed of flowers or something and just kind of try to go for the same eerie vibe and it just didn't turn out. I don't know if it's because I tried to follow the shape of the washi tape too much. I was really cutting around those flowers and trying to make it look like they were surrounded by flowers. 
So maybe I should have just did my own little shape and that would have made it look better. Cutting out all of those little flowers was just so tedious. And like I said, you couldn't get anything to match up. And especially because there was never an actual full flower in the tape entirely at all, ever. <laughs> So I was really hoping to cut a few flowers out and layer them around just to give it a better edge or just make it look like there's lots of little flowers, but there was never a full flower. And I just, I don't know, the cutting took too long and it wasn't turning out as cool as the previous one. So eventually I was just like, yeah, whatever. Let's just get this one over with. Though I will say the eyeball on this one is quite terrifying. It's just the center of one of the flowers, but it looks like a bloodshot eye and it's very spooky. Oh, also I guess I just wanted to draw a butt, let's be honest. I drew a booty on this one. I gotta say, working with washi tape that I had no control over picking really makes me want to go out and buy washi tape I want to make illustrations out of. So yeah, that was that. And then it was time to try out some new ideas. So looking at my cheat sheet of washi tape swatches, I was really inspired by the one that was kind of, I guess, checkered. It started to make me think of sheets of paper or maybe a quilted quilt, squares, things, or just in general things falling apart. So I wasn't really sure where to go with this one. At first I was thinking maybe someone was wearing a quilt or wrapped up in a blanket in bed or something and it was falling apart. Just something dramatic, I guess. What I ended up with was, like I said, I just like it when the white characters are on a dark background. It just really makes them pop and it looks really cool. So in the end, I just went with a background that was just kind of falling away and breaking away from around the character. Though I do think that the checkered washi tape had just a little bit too much white on it, so it didn't aid in making that character pop, which was a little unfortunate, but I do like the way it looks. And I think overall this one turned out pretty cool so I'm okay with that. Though my insisting on making colors match, so I used a lot of blue so that the piece could look unified, but honestly, there's just so much blue. I do wish I had maybe mixed and just had like a rainbow of colors. In fact, I could have made it into a rainbow. I could have had red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple fading in the background and then having different colored pieces wisping around him. But you know, the cool thing about washi tape is that I could just take all of that washi tape off and just completely redo it the way I want it to do. So that's actually kind of cool. With washi tape, as long as you get the low adhesive pieces, then you can just take them right off and it won't really harm your paper at all. So you mess up, you can just take it right off and try again. So that's pretty cool. Overall, I do think this piece is really nice. It's really cool having all those little pieces flowing around this kid. It almost reminds me of apps because there are a few white birds on blue backgrounds. Maybe this kid is struggling with his social media or something. I don't know. I didn't go that deep into this one. This one's really cute. I like this one, it was fun. Got to use a lot of different kinds of tape. All right, for our fifth and final piece, I wanted to play around with the transparency of this tape. Now, a lot of these tapes are more transparent than others. I guess it just depends on how dark it is, how much of a pattern there is, how busy it is. But overall, I wanted to see if I could play around with the transparency and layering the tape because I hadn't really layered it at all, I don't think at all. So on this one, I thought, okay, we've got this washi tape that looks like fish in clouds, I think, but I'm gonna turn that into water or it could be clouds, I don't know. So I just started doodling a person just to see what would come up. I knew I wanted to make them have blobby hair because of that first blobby hair person didn't really happen. And I knew I wanted to use a lot of different colors because I had used so much blue, so I wanted to use more colors. So I ended up using a lot of blue in this one and covering up what little red there was, oops. So I ended up doodling this mermaid character because I think it's interesting to give mermaids weird hair. And I went ahead and made their fins a red color, not their fin, their tail. I made their tail a red color. And at first I really wanted to use that pattern I really liked with the first original goopy one. It looked like scales, but I wanted to use a different one and I wanted to use not blue. So I used a red. And then I just started to layer that sky ocean fish tape on top of the person and it just looks so cool and I even cut away parts of the person to make it look like there was water beyond them so they are still getting that white pop effect they're getting a transparency effect I thought the results of this one was really cool I was really happy with this one and I even cut out a little fish so she's holding a little fish 
overall, I had so much fun playing around with washi tape. I think it fits so well with my really flat art that I can do sometimes. I can really make some simple art. So having these patterned washi tapes in it was just so much fun. I loved it. Let me know if you guys really like this video. I might go out and buy my own washi tape and create things that I really want to make. I don't know. Maybe I'll incorporate watercolor with it in the future too. All right. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. And now a huge thank you to my wonderful patrons for all of their support. You guys are the best. If you want to be in the credits at the end of my videos, see secret sketches, coloring pages, early access, and more, check out my Patreon by clicking a link in the description. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Bye.